Hello everyone, Lord Shmup here. Checking out Euroblade for the first time. Shout out to uh, Mini Console Man on Twitter for shouting this out to be available and on sale on the Japanese eShop. I believe it was 500 yen, 550, something like that. Whatever the price is, it was under 700 yen. And I had some leftover J eShop monies, so we're going to be checking that out. Euroblade. Or Gyroblade? I think it's Euroblade, but Gyro kind of sounds cooler. But Euroblade it is. So uh, we get to the main menu, we get the option screen, background volume, SE volume, and that's it. So we're just going to hit start. Four difficulties. Easy, normal, hard, classic. Classic is probably arcade. Artist, I would guess. Let's do normal. Okay, right into it, I suppose. Shot level. E star, score, high score. Three credits. Two lives. Oh shit, okay. Oh! What's. There we go. That was weird. Okay, right into it. No, uh. Settings. Okay, so we can't change the buttons, so A is shoot. Not sure what other buttons do what, but that's the one that's working for me now, and that's what we're going to be doing. Digging this. Need to make the comparison, but I already like this way bit better and more than the Pacific Wings game. Controls are responsive. This is cool. Doesn't seem like it's a, th uh, a throwaway game in terms of quality or difficulty. Plus, there's four freaking difficulties, so this is sick. What is it, five bucks, dude? So far, 100% worth it. Not a lot of quality shmups can be purchased for five bucks. Although, if memory served me correct, I did buy DU3 for like stupid cheap, like three something. And that was the steal of the century. That's one of the goats. Got to your shmup, DU3. I have no qualms with this game so far. This is fun. I really like this. This is kind of giving me that uh, that uh, Raiden Trad feel. Like the OG Raiden for Super Nintendo. Kind of feeling that same sort of satisfaction that it, that game gives me. Okay, shot level is two. Kind of sick. Oh, got the P-Star. check out my score while I'm zooming around like this, but yeah, you would be kind of hosed if you didn't snag those power-ups. Oh, missed that P-Star, dang it. I'm wondering if this is going to be... If the difficulty doesn't ramp up, it might feel a little bit like a Pacific Wing situation, because as soon as you get all the way powered up in that game, you kind of just hang out, and then twiddle your thumbs for an hour. <laughs> Sick. Love the look at that boss. Like I said, I don't think there are any other buttons. I'm trying to hit them all on my stick. Definitely already more difficult than Pacific Wing, so I'm going to stop making that comparison. Lincoln Red, baby. There we go. Give me all that. We got 24. We missed, what, two? Two stars we missed? Oh, sweet. Right into it. Oh, no. We... we gonna park right here? Three one clear. That was cool. Version one point three. So it's had time to get some version updates and upgrades. Oof. Yeah, we missed at least one or two. I love how the start of it is literally the the Japa getting started. Harry two. Good luck. I 
Shout out to Mini Console Man. He was right. He was uh, complimenting the music on this one. And I dig it. I'm definitely into it. Let's see if we can get some quick kills. Ooh, went right into that. Just like some uh, OG titles. Immediately rips away your upgrades. Which, rightfully so. Damn. Dang. No, definitely not. 60... 54,000. Let's do... Let's, let's hop in one more time. That was cool. Let's... Let's bump it up to classic. That scores 68,000, so I must have gotten 68,000 after some bonuses? I don't know. Or that's the default? Either way, here's the, the last run for our first time playing Euroblade. Man, enemy management kind of tough with this one. You gotta weigh your options and kind of swerve. Already feeling the difficulty rise from uh, easy, or excuse me, normal to classic. Trying to get all these P stars. I want to get that. Ooh, almost got me. This is cool. I could see this game in my stream shmup rotation. Five bucks, dude, that's it. Five bucks. Oh, missed it. That's one. Oh, give me that upgrade. So I don't know which which color we got last run, and I'm not entirely sure it makes a difference. But it could be where the bullets are on the spread. So maybe the green one is this in the center, the red ones are on the outside, or This is cool. Classic mode is much more entertaining. Ooh, I love that. So the green, yeah, the green are more centered, it feels like. Not opposed to that. I'm down with the green. Possible I'll try to keep the next power up to green as well. You know the music is good when you don't even notice it. And you know it's great if you're sitting here nodding your head to it. Let's see if we can get that green. Oh, I got the red. Dang it. Let's see if we can at least get to the boss. I love those enemy ships. That design is so cool. Okay, boss time. Yeah, like I said, I don't think there's any bombs. We have on the ship last time at least seven fires before. It was even trying to go down. Okay. Give me all the stars. HT Project Games. I wonder if they have any other games on the eShop, because this is their first. Super solid start. Area one clear. No lives left though. Yep. 1k per star. Um, we're at the same score as we were on normal mode, 54,000. So let's just see if we can top six, 68,000.
can't really afford to let any enemy pass. Dang, got me. 57,000. So 58,000 was our high score on normal and 58 on normal, 57 on classic, so. Again, shout out to Mini Console Man on Twitter for recommending this game. It's on the Japanese eShop. I believe it was 550, 550 yen, somewhere around there. But uh, if you don't have any points, just go to Play Asia and buy one of the gift cards for the Japanese eShop, just like I did. And yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts and comments uh, in the comments below. Would you buy this game? Would you? I would recommend it. Five bucks is a steal. I will definitely keep this in my shmup rotation. So, love uh, that I found this game, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, everybody. Watch shmup out.